Yeah, rocking a hard place is a phrase we heard a couple of times today. Both of these restaurants we're talking about are just off I-5 south of Olympia. They both have survived for decades on weary travelers looking for a place to get a break from the road. And the owners say the drive through and takeout just hasn't been cutting it. We just opened up today. Today's our first day being open. Choosing to blatantly violate the state order prohibiting indoor dining was not easy for farm boy owner Brian Robbins. I, I was up all night out when, you know, weighing the, the good and the bad. And the good outweighs the bad. I mean, it, it does. He could be fined, even lose his business license. But he says waiting out this latest COVID ban was not an option. I can't wait. Uh, if if I wait, my business gets shut down. I've got families to, to feed. Our employees are number one. Farm Boys owners were inspired by another rest stop restaurant 25 miles south on I-5. Spiffy's reopened its dining room Monday morning. We have a lot of customers in here. We're getting slammed. Rod Samuelson first opened Spiffy's nearly 50 years ago. He says indoor service is the only way to keep his staff of 30 employed, and he hopes he's sending a message to Olympia. They're just tired of it. They, people are a bit cooped up, and they want they. Some of it's a lot of them are. It's a protest. The reason I opened up is because of my business. It has nothing to do with Jay Inslee. Brian Dobbins not only grew up working at Farm Boy, his mother was pregnant with him as she waited tables here. He says there should be a way to keep his family business alive while still taking COVID precautions. I have put in so much time, so much effort, so much, you know, money into this place, you know, and just to have it shut down because of this after 40 years, I don't think that's right. The state's Department of Labor and Industry says they will be looking into these two restaurants. A restaurant up in Linden, the Fairway Cafe, got a notice posted on its front door last week warning the owners that if they refused to turn away customers or if they let continue to let customers inside, they could face fines or even lose their license. Live just south of Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.